the chant is coming from the Forest faithful. Good refereeing again. Keane. Oh, what a good run by Keane. Crosby to his right. Sharing him in the inside left position coming across. And so was Clark. Wonderful to see a player going straight for goal like that. It was just a movement of the hips to the shoulders, but he actually kept running in the same direction and beat three players in the process. Lachlan is rather more hopeful than considered. That hasn't happened too often from uh, McLaughlin. Good save. Sheringham on the turn. Knight was going backwards and uh, had to adjust a bit. There he is moving backwards. He was a bit surprised by it, but he kept it out. Keane's cross met by Orford. And with the goal from Alan McLaughlin in the second minute of the match, when uh, Mark Crossley dropped the cross, whether affected by the wind or not, he will presumably now try to explain in the dressing room. But with the advantage of that goal, a very good 45 minutes for the Portsmouth team. They deserve all the applause that they're getting. They've only been beaten once on this ground this season. And that's the task that now faces Nottingham Forest in the second period in their first FA Cup tie away from home. Only once... And they put their name on the FA Cup Portsmouth, that was in 1939, although they held it to 1946. Lasted the sixth round in 1988, and they lost to Luton. They haven't been in the semi-final since 1949. As Brian Clough found the right words in the dressing room at half-time. To fair to Forrest, Crossley was not much involved during that first half after the early error. But here's Clark, and that's a good save by Crossley. A watch by Simons. Or Neil. Clark turned his man and the referee suggesting that's I think the third time if there was a fourth then some action might be taken more than a free kick four up for Boris reading left to right Clough, Glover, Sheringham, Keane now Crosby joining them but no problem for Portsmouth Anderson hasn't really had a run but has covered well on this side which is part of his job haven't seen too much of Pierce getting forward, just a couple of occasions uh, in uh, the first half. Really promising, but uh, in no rush to leave Portsmouth, as I understand it. Wassell's header. That's nicely played through to Keane by Sheringham. And he was pulled back, Keane, and the referee is calling for Beresford, Beresford claiming that there was a dive, no doubt in my mind that Beresford pulled his man. There. Yellow card, Sharon to Beresford. And an opportunity for Stuart Pearce, last time he let uh, Clough take it, not the similar distance at the other end, surely this time he'll have a crack. They put Glover on the end of the wall 
that can sometimes pull somebody out. It happened to Liverpool. Sheringham runs over. Pierce hits. And is wide. Always going away. And always going too high. Not truly hit. Just want to get out of his end. Sheringham gets it across. And Neil. He really wasn't the danger, but nobody informed him of that fact. Keane has come to take it. Need for concentration at set pieces, which almost undid Portsmouth at Middlesbrough Gemmell and blocked by Neil feel for handball but not so except for the hands of the goalkeeper blocked certainly and then cleared by Neil and a good stop as it came back in player to be replaced is Sheringham In his stead comes Steve Chettle. Tough. Bit of an arm forward by uh, Kit Simons. Chettle. He's had a few roles in this uh, forest side. Chettle, full back, centre half. Now at the moment, left midfield. And by Wassell. Russell among those who's uh, replaced him at the centre of the defence. Tyler as well. Caught expensively. And Warren Aspinall to be brought into the fray. In place of Daryl Powell. Who gets a good hand from the home crowd. Aspinall a fairly regular substitute. Former Everton, Wigan, been around a bit without ever quite making a first team place his own. Job is to tighten. He's taken these the inside role with Burns moving wider. The challenge by Beresford. And the crowd not liking the reaction of Brian Laws. And the referee wants to talk to Laws. It was a slide-in challenge. Look at the feet. Woof. Oh, the right boot made contact with the Adams apple. And it's red! Well, it's a pity to hear the applause. The referee obviously thought that the tackle was sufficiently dangerous to demand Brian Law's removal. Brian Clough's team losing a man four minutes after making a substitution. And the idea of having Chettle and pushing Clough into the middle. Clough is still there. Oh, that's a bad challenge. Offered a bit for that. Clough who felt it now what is his action now it was a challenge straight through a player for which the card is yellow and which produces booze from the forest end and in many respects that was a worse challenge than the one that produced the sending off still as I said, it's the referee's opinion which counts. One by Pierce. Portsmouth to make a second substitution. Colin Clark is replaced by the man who, for long spells this season, has kept him out of the team. Guy Whittingham. 